Again, welcome to all the children and parents of Iskon Silicon Valley Sunday School. A big Hari Bol. Hari Bol. This is a time of the year where we all get together and offer the fruits of our effort to edu educate the children of Iskon Silicon Valley in spiritual knowledge and uplift their consciousness. And in that effort, we do a graduation ceremony where all the children, one after the other, beginning from the Kanha class, which is zero to two years, they receive their graduation certificates and their small gift and prasadam from His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu, who is our dear temple president of Iskon Silicon Valley. So I would request all the children to enter from the left, from my left side, receive, and just move. You can uh, receive your certificate standing. And let us do it efficiently because we have more than a hundred children who are going to be receiving this, cer you know, certificate. Mataji. All the Kana kids are ready with their parents. So, Hare Krishna, can we please have some silence? We are going to start the ceremony. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Let us once again get together and thank our founder Acharya, His, Gra His Divine Grace AC Bhakti Vedanta Sh Swami Srila Prabhupada for allowing us this wonderful opportunity to educate the children and to make every day a festival for them. Thank you. I will begin with the Kanha class, zero to two years. Please come one by one, take the certificate and take your gift and please go that way, go out on the right side, okay? Rishi Raj Singh. Gopika Gopika If the for the little children please the parents be with them they may not know what the process is Rishi stand up Rishi 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 Raj Rishi Raj congratulations That way Parents, please come from the from our left side, that way. Gopika, Shaurya Verma, Ramona Sapre, Shaurya. Please let's not um, offer obeisances because we have a hundred children. I understand. You can offer your obeisances once you go there. Okay, thank you. Remuna. Come that way. Bhakti. Where's Ramuna? Oh, there she is. Oh. Bhakti. Lyra. Chaitanya Chaitanya Geeta Priya Geeta 
This is Kanha Geeta Priya. <laughs> Kunjari. Again, a reminder, gentle reminder, please enter from, the, uh, from this side. You see my hand and then go out from the right. Vrinda Chembrulu. Madhusrava. Madhusrava. Arj Arjun Mansinga. Solai Arvind. Upasana. Deva, Devala Palli. Udava. Udava. Sudarshan. This is Cholai. Sudarshan. Next, we'll move on to Damodar. Give me the. Damodar age group is three to five years. Harsh Gautam. Can you please maintain silence because we cannot hear anything in the front? If you can hear me, raise your hand. If you can hear me, raise your hand. If you can hear me, raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. Krishna Priya. Ashraya. Ashraya, Aradhya, Narasingh Goju, Prithviraj Singh, Atharva Singh, Kashvi, Gaurika Varma, Shriyan, Gopi Priya, Shlok Navya Mohan Balram Khandelwal This man Balram Chembrulu, <laughs> Madhav Jaiswal, <laughs> Sachi Gautam,
हलधर केशव पटेवार हिमानीश हरिवंशा सुत्रावे आराध्या रबुलू रबुला सानवी नारेन राधिका रगाला गौरी अन्वया दशरी श्रीवत्सन विवान तलवार थैंक यू वेरी मच Now we'll move on to the next group. That is six to eight years old Gopinath group. If you can hear me, raise your hands. If you can hear me, raise your hands. If you can hear me, raise your hands. Thank you so much, Gopinath group. Again, a gentle reminder for those who just came in. Please come in from my left side, your right side. Thank you, Siddhi Sabnes. Sanskriti. Soumya Singh. I want you to form a line as I am calling out the names. Radhika Ayer, Mullai, Atiyant, Akshaj Goda, Madhav Shravan, Shreya Varma, Shreya Kashyap, Deepika Narang, Deepika Narang, Parantap Sodhi, Shreedha Varma, I'm sorry, Shri, I'm sorry, Shreedha Mishra. Shreedha Mishra. Anya Tomar, Soumya Darshan, Damodar Kriplani, Nimai Goswami, Mahi Madan. One second. 
If you can hear me, raise your hands. If you can hear me, raise your hands. If you can hear me, raise your hands. Thank you all so much for being, you know, we are not able to hear the name of the child, you know, but what Rasesh is doing. Please, please, we request you to, I know it's exciting to see your children get the certificate. Okay. Close your eyes. Everyone sit up straight. Close your eyes. Take a close your eyes. Take a couple deep breaths. Center yourself. Kids, meditate. Meditate on the super soul in your heart. Now repeat after me. Oh. Now stay in a peaceful state. Hare Krishna. Mahi. Nitya Maheshwari. Ananya Shukla. Medha Ravi Kumar. Vedanto Bhamik. Shruti Sharma. Gauranga Dashri. Samanvita, Kapil, Ramanuja, Gaurang Thakur, Madha Vayangar, Ovia, Ovia, Ojas Patak, Ojas Patak, Deepika Sharma, Madhav Ayer, Thank you very much. We'll move on to the Madan Mohan group. The Man Madan Mohan group is from 9 to 11 years old. Ambarish. Arjun Dashari. Krishe Handa. Nihar. This is Balram Chakravarti. Balram Chakravarti, Geeta Priya, Giridhari, Gayatri, Anushri, Driti Anjalika Keshav Ayangar Puja Ragala Gaur Sundar Raghav Raghav Bharadwaj Mukund Varshni 
Nitai Goswami. Arushi. Vedant. Arushi is coming. Arushi. Arushi. And Ipsita Thakur. Now we'll move on to the Kaishura class from 12 to 14 years old. Advait Srinivasan. Anshu. Balram Behera. Monisha. Madhav Varshne. Parantapa. Manya. Bharat. Abhijit Goda. Bharat. Oh, she's collecting. Abhijit Goda, Advait Aluri, Anish Srivastava, Advait Aluri, Avanish, Rivan, Aname, Parth, and Niharika. And we will now have our uh, final batch, our proud 15 to 17 years old, the youth club. Hari Bol! Avantika Sharma. Aprameh Singh. Srivatsa. 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 Vrinda, we don't have a problem. Okay, there are a few uh, children who just showed up, so we'll just call them from the Kanha class. Bhakti, Kashvi. Hmm? This is Damodar class, Kashvi Popat. Anjalika Khare from Madan Mohan class. Anjalika.
So now I would like to Madhushrava. <laughs> Madhushrava is dressed up so nicely. <laughs> now I'd like to hand over to Sukeshwari Mataji, who's going to appreciate the vast amount of devotees who are supporting this whole project at Vedic Academy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Raseshwari Mataji. Um, are there any students who did not receive the certificate? Who are here, who came late? Anybody here? Yes. Bharat? Atharva? Oh, okay. Yes. Navya Mohan? And where is Atharva? Is Atharva here? Atharva Singh. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, is there anybody else? Okay, we want to make sure every child is appreciated and gets their beautiful certificate and a small little present. I'm going to go ahead. I know we are, um, I'm going to really be quick. <laughs> I know we are, we are a little delayed, but I really don't want to miss this opportunity to appreciate a whole group of devotees who make this happen. May I please request everybody to please, please maintain silence. I want to get started with the teachers in the, the lowest group, that is Kanha. We uh, would not be able to do anything without these beautiful Matajis who have worked hard to teach the zero to three year olds. Saubhagya Mataji. Shama Vallabhi Mataji. Radhika Prema Mataji. And Apara Gaurangi Mataji. Radhika Prema. We also had Aarti Mataji help with the crafts in the first semester. We have Aarti Mataji here. Radhika Prema. I want to request all the teachers to just stay back because Prabhu wants to take a group picture at the end. It'll be re we really don't want to waste our time on that, please. So please stay back here. Matangi Mataji has been helping uh, the little kids do crafts. Um, you know, she is, she is moved from um, South America and she's been a big asset for our little kids. She's been helping the Kanha and the Damodar classes. Let's have a hand for Matangi Mataji. Um, we're going to go ahead, thank you Mataji, we're going to go ahead with Damodar class. Uh, this class was beautifully taught by Sneha Mataji, <laughs> Divya Kumari Mataji, Jai Shri Radhe Mataji, Premlata Mataji taught the first semester, I'm not sure if she's here, Premlata Mataji and Priyanka Mataji. It takes a lot of effort. So let's have a nice big hand for all these beautiful teachers, please. We move on to Gopinath class. I'd like to request Madhavi Manjari Mataji. Harikata Mataji. Benu Gita Mataji. Purnima Mataji 
एंड अनुराधा माथ जी सो यू कैन एक्चुअली सी सो मेनी हैंड्स टुगेदर एक्चुअली मेक वट वट हैपन्स यू नो एज फर एज द टीचिंग गर्ल्स इन वेदिक अकेडमी थैंक यू ऑल माथ जीज Move on to Madan Mohan. We had two wonderful male teachers this year, Amit Prabhu, who also helps out with the PSG. So, you know, he is both the sides. Where is Amit Prabhu? Amit Prabhu. Oh, can we call him to come, Prabhu? Kola Dweepa Prabhu. The Kaishwara class was taught by Raseshwari Lila Mataji, by Rasa Mataji, and Ananda Chaitanya Prabhu. we would not be able to do any music in any of the older classes it's not possible without ananya radhika mataji she's a whole and soul music teacher for the entire vedic academy yeah. and i cannot take it less govind prabhu helped us with the first semester so let's have a big hand for govind prabhu too govind prabhu is going prabhu around okay we don't can we have going prabhu wherever he is <laughs> i know he was here um our youth club was started by vrindavan priya prabhu our crafts would not be possible without these be beautiful craft teachers oh govind prabhu please let's have a big hand for govind prabhu we have harikata mata ji who didn't get her <laughs> thank you so much harikata mata ji so we go or move on to the craft teachers wonderful craft teachers who would not we would not be able to do with beautiful crafts without them um suvarna gopika mata ji prana gopika mata ji if abhijit is here he can pick it up for his mom <laughs> and brajavilasini mata ji and mantra siddhi mata ji do we have mantra siddhi mata ji here well we would not be able to do a sunday school without the help of our wonderful psg staff and we have sudeep prabhu these are people who always stand on the gate and make sure your kids are safe in the temple do we have sudeep prabhu mata ji can collect go ahead janki mata ji you know so amit prabhu is also part of psg group but we already gave him his <laughs> <laughs> so i want to mention it again that amit prabhu has been a big big support for psg he's he coordinates a lot of <laughs> volunteers thank you prabhu shrinivas goda prabhu abhijit will collect oh shrinivas goda prabhu is here thank you so much because it's not possible they don't listen to lectures or kirtans they're standing in the gateway and taking care of your kids thank you prabhu prem ritya prabhu prem ritya prabhu atharva's dad prem ritya prabhu are you here we just saw him yeah sudeep prabhu please come please come did you take 
Please, please. Oh, oh okay. Please, you can take the blessings, Prabhu. <laughs> Shri Kumar Prabhu? Shri Kumar Prabhu here? Sundari Leela can come and take it. Okay? So, oh, yeah. Manjula Kantamadaji. She does everything starting from uh, cleaning to supervising everything. <laughs> Also, our website was uh, done by Rasa Mataji, who also taught, uh, taught the kids this year, and Aarti Talwar Mataji. Do we have Aarti Mataji? Prem Ritya Prabhu is here. So please come on, Prabhu. Let's have a big hand for the entire Vedic Academy staff. And I just want to mention, yeah, I will take my certificate to... I want to give a big round of applause to our dear Sukeshwari Mataji. <laughs> Frankly, I'm stunned to see how the program has grown under you, Sukeshri and Risheshri Leela, and all the, the leaders of this program since its inception. I mean, practically my head is spinning to see all the different groups, and, to, and especially seeing that the different generations of kids growing up and now our youth group. Uh, and you, you, can, you can just feel the wave of leadership and you know good association coming up from the kids because of what you're all doing and it's really the most significant contribution not just to isv but to the whole world in fact great philosophers like socrates spent much of their time conceptualizing how human society could be reformed and they thought of ways in which to train the youth at different ages so that they could actually be, have integrity, have values, and be able to contribute appropriately to society. And what you're all doing here is the best of, of that kind of training, and it's really a, a contribution to the Christian Consciousness Movement and, and way beyond to all human society. So all the blood, sweat, and tears you're putting into this is simply remarkable. I, I, I can't even express how deeply I'm touched by the service that you're doing. So please, one more time for <laughs> Sukeshri and Risheshri Leela. Thank you so much, Prabhu. I think nothing is possible without this entire crew. I just feel that I just take the, you know, appreciation all the time, and I really want to give back to all the beautiful teachers, Raseshwari, everybody. So it's just not possible just being me alone. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
We're going to get begin. Um, we're going to get started with our performances now. We're going to have our Kanha kids. So while the performances are happening, I, I want to request everybody to really encourage the kids. I know some of the kids are coming on the stage for the first time. So um, you know we want to make sure that uh, we are able to um, encourage them. I really want to apologize. We have one <laughs> Mataji who we missed. Um, Raseshwari, can you give it to Prabhu? Kalai Mataji, who has been very, very helpful. Let's have a big hand for Kalai Mataji. Every time the PSG member is not there, she's one parent who will surely make sure that she comes and she helps us out. So um, thank you so much, Mataji. I'm, I'm so sorry I <laughs> missed calling you. <laughs> thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much. She's so so systematic and she will surely be uh, there and uh, showing up for the service. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. So we, we want to get started and uh, we're going to go over with the Kanha class. Our Kanha class is zero to, zero to three year olds and our Kanha teachers ready? Yeah? Yeah. He can sit here. Yes. Krishna, go in there. In the center, Mother. Center? Yes. Remuna. Mataji. Remuna is here. First one, uh, Saki. Yeah, sit here. Where, Mataji? One second, Mataji. One second, Mataji. Can you? He is a uh, Gita third number. Third. Yeah, third. Mataji is a move little to this side. Go in the center. First, this one. Gita. Second is Remuna. Second is Remuna. Third is Gita. Gita. That side, Mother. Sit here. Yeah, Ra ah, she, Radha is coming. Radha, you sit here. To right side, you have spaces. You have spaces. Mati, mic. Ah. Balram, na, Aliyam. Next is. Is he here? Balram, here. Next, ha, here. Next, Champak Lata, Champak Lata. Next to Madhusara. Okay. Indu Lekha. This is. Tindu Vidya. Ha, Tindu Vidya. Where is Upasna? Upasna, Upasna has to come. She will sit here and then she will come. Yeah, she is here. Krishna, Indu Radha. Left hand to Radha Rani, right? Krishna. Okay, we can make it, no problem. We can make it back. Yeah. Yes, yes, she's here and you are here. She's here. Last Midanga, eh? Uske pehle ye hai. Ye, nahi, nahi, nahi. Ye Hindu leka hai. Hindu leka hai, Tunga Vedya. Mic now. Okay, this mic you will rotate. Okay. Uh, no, no, nothing is say. I'll just do Hare Krishna. Which singing Hare Krishna, na? You will say. I will say. Yes, I will say. Can we make little rods so everyone can sit properly? Ra, pichhe kisko? Ra, 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 pichhe kisko? Jeta. Mataji, you can give one. 
माधे होल ना माइक यू कैन जस्ट सुकेर जस्ट सिंग हरे किस मामन से मैंने बोला जैसे इसको फ्रूट पास के टाइम पर कुछ तो आगे रखो डिस्ट्रैक्शन हो जाएगा हरे कृष्णा Hare Krishna everybody. Uh, so now we have our Kana class. This is our youngest uh, class in the Vedic Academy. Please, uh, can you please maintain silence? Because these are very small kids and you will not be able to hear them. I request everybody, all the parents to please maintain silence and please be seated. Prabhuji. Uh, Okay, so we can begin now. So this is the Kana class. This is the youngest class in the Vedic Academy, and we have they have been putting up lot of effort to bring up this performance. So please appreciate them, and uh, whenever they have completed one performance, please uh, give them a big round of applause so that they get encouraged. And they might not say because they are very small, but let's bear with them. So we'll first welcome them. However, we generally do in our class. Hare Krishna Rishi, Hare Krishna Rishi, how are you today? How are you today? How are you, Rishi? Say good. Say good. Good. Hare Krishna Saket, Hare Krishna Saket, how are you today? How are you today? How are you, Saket? Good. He is very, very small, youngest one. Hare Krishna Remuna, Hare Krishna Remuna, how are you today? How are you, Rema? Remuna? Fine, thank you so much. Hare Krishna Gita, Hare Krishna Gita, how are you today? How are you today? Hey Gita, how are you? Yeah, good. Hare Krishna Vinda, Hare Krishna Vinda, how are you today? How are you today? How are you, Vinda? You're good, so nice. Hare Krishna Uddhava, Hare Krishna Uddhava, how are you today? How are you, Uddhava? Say? <laughs> Vinda is not allowing him to say. Hare Krishna Gopika, Hare Krishna Gopika, how are you today? How are you Gopika? Fine. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna Madhushrava, Hare Krishna Madhushrava, how are you today? How are you today? How are you Madhushrava? <laughs> Hare Krishna Kunjari, Hare Krishna Kunjari, how are you today? How are you today? How are you Kunjari? You're good. Hare Krishna Upasna, Hare Krishna Upasna, how are you today? Upasna, how are you? Good. Say? Good. Yeah, good. Hare Krishna Bhakti, Hare Krishna Bhakti, how are you today? How are you Bhakti? You want to eat the mic? Fine, hello, fine. Fine. Hello, fine. Hare Krishna Shorya, Hare Krishna Shorya, how are you today? How are you today? How are you Shorya? Good. Oh, wow. Hare Krishna Sole, Hare Krishna Sole, how are you today? How are you Sole? Good. Good? Okay. So we have welcomed all the kids. Now we will have all the kids singing Hare Krishna Mahamantra on an instrument. So let's see the performance. Mataji, you can distribute. Okay, 
Okay, we I'll count till uh, eight uh, and then we'll start. One, okay. two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. One more time. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you. Please clap for them. So now we have another performance by the kids, which is for Ashta Sakhi. So, uh, do you all have best friends? Do you all have best friends? And and you all love them, right? So, oh, see, we are seeing so many friends of Radha and Krishna are sitting over here. So let's see who all of them are. So we have a performance now of Astra Sakhi. So Astra Sakhi are eight and they are the best friends of Radha Rani. And all the little kids have become the Astra Sakhis now. And what we will see is that what are they doing for Radha Rani? We're going to see that. So let's begin the thing. She is Lalita Gopi and she is always with Radha Rani. Stand. She is Vishaka Gopi. And she dresses and decorates Radha Rani with this beautiful garland. She is Su Devi. She brings water for Radha Rani in her beautiful pot. And she is Ranga Devi. She is carrying Chandan and she applies this beautifully on the face of Radha Rani. And she is Chitra Devi. She is the best cook and she cooks for Radha Rani. Yeah. <laughs> she is she is Champaklata. She is she collects fruits and flowers and roots in the forest for Radha Rani. See, she is holding a beautiful rose and this is for Radha Rani. And she is into Lekha. She served a delicious meal to Radha Rani. She is carrying this plate with lots of tasty fruits for Radha Rani. Mm -hmm. And here, oh, we have Tunga Vidya. She is singing beautifully and dances beautifully for Radha Rani. She has a Mridanga, which, which she plays beautiful mm -hmm. kirtans for Radha Rani. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I can see some friends of Krishna also here. Oh, we have one of the friends of Krishna yeah. here. And we have here also one more friend of Krishna, Haribol. And oh, oh, I see. Here we have brother of Krishna also, Balaram, who's sitting here and playing with all the friends of Krishna and Radha Rani. And you have seen we have Radha and Krishna both sitting here. And they are sitting in the forest of Vrindavan. So now we will have a song of Ashtu Saki. I'll count till eight and then we'll sing it. You have the mic? Okay, I'll give the mic. You guys can take it. You can pass it to her. One, two, three, four, no, 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 five, no, no. six, seven, eight. Lalita Vishaka, Sudevi Ranga Devi, Chitra Sampakalata, Ranga Vidya Indu. Please give it a big hand. And now the last performance for the Kana class is they are going to sing Jai Radha Madhava song. 
It's a chorus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jaya Tama Dava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Dava Kunja Bihari Jaya Gopi Janavala Givar Hari Yashoda Yashodanandan Brajjanaranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Radha Ma Kunja Mihani Thank you very much dear kids. Please give a big hand of applause. So now all the kids will introduce themselves from here. Yeah. Hare Krishna. You can see his name. Yeah. Hare Krishna. He's Sole. Hey. Yeah. You have to say your name. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. This is Shaurya. Can you say Hare Krishna and Bhakti? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. This is Bhakti. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, this is Upasana. Hare Krishna, this is Kunjari. Hare Krishna, this is Madhusha. Chalo name. Gopika. Gopika. You do Udava. Okay. Say in a mic. Say in a mic. Udava. Udava. Say. Okay. Vin. Hare Krishna, this is Vrinda. Hare Krishna, this is Gita Priya. Hare Krishna, this is Remuna. Hare Krishna, this is Sudarshan. <laughs> Hare Krishna, this is Rishi. Thank you, every, thank you, parents. So, thank you, everybody, for your patience, leave listening to them. Yeah. And I thank all the parents because all of this effort is because of the parents. They have been regularly coming for the class, making sure the kids attend it. And also all the preparation for this. You know, thank you so much for you all, you know, for your hard work. Thank you so much. Let's have a big hand for Kanha class. <sighs> thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Can we take a picture of the group? Afterwards? Okay. Okay, we can leave. We can come out from like the, this side and uh, vacate the place. Thank you. Yeah. Come. come. You know, it's the zero to five, three kids. So next performance is going to be Damodar while they get set up. I just want to mention that the importance of exposing your children to Krishna consciousness at the age of zero is amazing. Since they are little kids, they get lis keep listening to these beautiful stories of uh, Krishna and Radharani from Srimad Bhagavatam. And when they get older, it, you know, whatever influence that they might have, they will never let Krishna conscious go. So that's the goal. And um, so we're going to get started with our Damodar class. And this class is from three years to six years of age. And um, we go, I'm going to give the mic to the teachers, so who will explain what they have two performances today. May I request everybody to please continue to maintain silence. If your child is, um, you know, making any noise, please take them outside. So we can really, because these kids also have very less attention span since they are very small. Our request is make sure that um, we have some real silence in the audience.
could come here. Give space to you. Move, move, move. Hare Krishna. Now we have uh, Damodar group performances. Shivas. <laughs> These are uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We have performance by Damodar group. These are kids from uh, three to six years of age. Their uh, curriculum was divided in two parts. In the first semester, we did uh, stories of uh, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And then in the second semester, we did uh, stories of Lord Sri Ram, basically Ramayan. And so their performances are uh, related to Sri Ram. We have two performances. The first group is going to do a bhajan. They are going to sing a bhajan. And the second group, uh, so this is the boys group. And the girls group, they are going to do a dance. Um, so we'll get started. <laughs> Ramachandra, 
चंद्र सिंधो Our next program is by the girls of Damodar class. I'm not afraid. 
Thank you so much. Next, we will have the Gopinath class, six to nine years of age, come on stage for performing a drama.
don't talk anything yet hari krishna the gopinath class will be performing a drama on jada bharata uh, the session was on coming back reincarnation and the cycle of birth and death so we are going to demonstrate what we have learned in the session thank you was a wise and experienced ruler who was to rule for many long years. But while still a young man, he always thought about renouncing all the material bondage and engaged completely in meditation. Being wise, the king understood that his position as a great monarch was not permanent. Therefore, he did not want to try to keep the royal throne until his death. He knew that ultimately he was a soul within the body of a king, and that even the body of a king must die. King Bharata understood that the soul was eternal, and the real purpose of life was to free himself from the cycle of birth and death. Every morning, King Bharata worshipped Lord Krishna by chanting prayers. He offered various fruits and flowers to the Lord. Hey Krishna! There entered the queen and their children. My dear Panchajani, I feel no happiness in being here. I wish to renounce all and go to a secluded place to meditate upon the Lord. My dear king, how do you think we can manage this big kingdom without you? We cannot handle. But I am in search of the absolute truth. These bondages are obstacles in my path. I need to give up all these material attachments. To be a servitor to Krishna is the only purpose of life. Please, dear queen. Our son is very capable and eligible to be the ruler. I crown him to be the next king. King Bharata renounces all his belongings, dresses as a sage, and decides to leave the kingdom and go to a forest. Hare Krishna, may you always prosper in Krishna consciousness. King Bharata journeyed to a sacred place of pilgrimage called Pulaha Ashram in the foothills of the Himalayas. There, he lived alone in the forest along the banks of the Gandaki River. He wore simple clothes and his hair and beard grew long and matted. 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Dear Fawn, you are motherless. How would I take care of you now? Bertha felt great compassion for the fawn, knowing it to be motherless, brought it to his home in the forest. Hey Fawn, come back. I want you to be safe. This forest is full of wildlife. I can't let you be in danger. Fawn, Fawn. Bertha became very attached to the Fawn. Always thinking of him, Bertha lay down with him, walked with him, bathed with him, and even ate with him. When king when the king wanted to enter the forest to gather fruits and flowers, he would take the fawn with him, fearing that if he left him behind, he would be killed by dogs, jackals, or tigers. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Fawn, where are you? Fawn, my son, when will you return? When shall I see you again wandering in my garden? As the day went on and the fawn still did not return, Bharata became very anxious. He remembered how the fawn would play with him, touching him with the points of his soft, fuzzy horns. My fawn is like a little prince. When will he return? When will he pacify my wounded heart? While searching for the lost fawn along the dangerous forest paths, Bharata suddenly fell and was faint fatally injured. At the moment of death, his mind was focused on the fawn. Fawn, fawn. Yum yum vapi smaram bhakvam tyattem anivatam tam tam evetikamteya sada tatpava bhakvata Whatever state of being one remembers when he quits his body, O son of Kunti, that state he will attain without fail. What a fool I was. I gave up my family and kingdom and went to the forest to meditate on the Lord. Due to my foolishness, I let my mind become attached to a deer. Now I have taken birth in the body of a deer. No one is to blame but myself. I shall go back to Pulaha Ashram and continue my meditation. This time, I shall not forget the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Dear Bharata, stay near the homes of saintly persons, eating simple and left his body remembering the Lord. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is the source of all knowledge, the controller of entire creation and the super soul within the heart of every living being. He is beautiful and attractive. I am quitting this body, offering obeisances unto him, and hoping that I may be engaged in his transcendental loving service. In his next life, Bharata took birth in the family of a pure saintly Brahmana priest with nine other siblings and was known as Jada Bharata. 
By the mercy of the Lord, he again remembered his past lives. Sarvasya chaham riddhi sanya vishto mataha smate jnanam apohanam cha Vedis cha sadveda hameva vedyo Vedanta krid veda videva chaham I am seated in everyone's heart and from me come remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. By all the Vedas, I am to be known. Indeed, I am the compiler of Vedanta, and I am the knower of the Vedas. As he grew up, Jadavarat became very afraid of his friends and relatives because they were materialistic and not at all interested in spiritual life. He feared that he would fall down again into animal life. Therefore, although he was very intelligent, he pretended to be deaf, mute, and blind so that materialistic people would not speak to him. Within himself, he, was al he always thought of the Lord and chanting his glories, which can save one from repeated birth and death. Let's make him work in the field. True, true, he's a fool. <laughs> One day while Jadabharata was wandering about, King Rahugana of Savira was being carried through the district on a palanquin, resting on the shoulders of several servants. The servant men were fatigued, tired, One day while Jadabharata was wandering about, King Rahugana of Savira was being carried through the district of a palanquin resting on the shoulders of several servants. The servant men were fatigued, tired, and began to fall down. It's heavy. I need help carrying this. Hey, look over there. He looks like an ox. Let's put him in this job. Hey, man, come here and hold this. <laughs> As Jadabharata walked, he kept stopping to be sure that he was not stepping on any ants, unaware that it was causing a delay. What is going on? Can't you carry this palanquin properly? <laughs> <laughs> Maharaj, it's, it's because it's of him. him. You look like a bull and you carry the palanquin like a weak, skinny, tired man. My dear king, whatever you have said about me is true. You seem to think that I have not labored hard enough to carry your palanquin. That is true, because actually I am not carrying your palanquin at all. My body's carrying it, but I am not my body. You think you are lord and master and you are trying to command me, but this is also incorrect. Today you are king and I am your servant. In our next lives, our positions may be reversed. You may be my servant and I be your master. Just as the waves of the ocean bring pieces of straw together and then break them apart, the force of eternal time brings living entities together in temporary relationships such as master and servant, and then breaks them apart and rearranges them. If you still think that you are the master and that I am the servant, I shall accept this. Please order me. Oh, a saintly person, why are you moving through the world unknown to others? Who are you? Where do you live? Oh, spiritual master, I am blind to spiritual knowledge. Please guide me how I may advance in the spiritual life.
In my previous births, I could not fully give up material attachment, resulting in my fall down to animal life. Therefore, in this life, I am practicing to serve the Lord without any deviation. It is said in Bhagavad Gita, Manmana bhava mad bhakto madhyaji mam namaskuru mame vaishyasi yuktvayvam atmanam mad parayanaha after receiving the instructions from the great devotee Jada Bharat, King Rahugana became fully aware of the real position of the soul. He gave up the bodily conception of life, which changed the pure souls to the endless cycle of birth and death in the material world. The king understood that only in a human form of life does one have the up to the intelligence to understand the eternal position of the soul. Only in the human form of life does one have the opportunity to end the cycle of birth and death by serving Lord Krishna and thus remember him at the time of death. Shreya, Radhika, Vedanto, Samanvita, Tepika, Ramanuja, Medha, Damodar, Ananya, Ovia, Goranga, Siddhi, Deepika, Malay, Parantap, Soumya, Kapil, Madhav, Nimai, Atin, Soumya, Anya. Keep it on. Or? You can just mute them, that's all. Huh? Uh, on, but just mute. Oh, okay. Mute. Oh, yes, our sound is going. <laughs> no, our conversation. Hare Krishna. So that was Gopinath class doing the, bar, the drama on the story of Jada Bharat and of course King Bharat. Now it will be followed by the bhajan that they have learned uh, under the guidance of Ananya Radhika Mataji. Jeeva 
Thank you so much, Gopinath class. That was wonderful. Next, we will have the Madan Mohan present a drama. Madan Mohan class is from 9 to 11 years of age. They're all Sit down, sit down. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Which scene? Part 3. Three. Okay, we'll go to the back. I need a curtain support. Can I get the curtain support? You can't. You, can't. you, have a, you want a curtain? Okay. Okay, can you sit down? Sit down. Sit down. It's fine. I'll hold it for you. I'll hold it for you. Sit, stand here. I will hold it for you. The paper. Yes, I will hold it for you. Have a mic. I'm told. I'm narrator. Miss G was teaching her biology class when a devotee kid asks a question. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss G. So, how are you all after spring break? Are you guys refreshed? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I had a wonderful time. I went to Tahoe and I went snow tubing. I stayed there for five days and I met a lot of my friends. That's wonderful. Welcome back, everyone. So, let's start with bio. So. In bio, we are learning about the human anatomy. Who can tell me something about the human anatomy? We cover various aspects of human body. It is so wonderful and so complicated at the same time. That is exactly right. So now let's zoom in on the human anatomy and let's focus on the heart. So, who can tell me something about the heart? I know about the heart. The heart is a muscular organ located in the chest. It pumps blood through blood vessels. Blood circulates oxygen and nutrients to all the other organs in the body. 
That is right. So here is the heart. The whole, the heart is the most essential function of the human body. The heart, the health of the heart reflects the whole health of the body. To keep the heart healthy, you must eat healthy and exercise regularly. So now let's zoom into the most essential functions of the heart. The heart is divided into two chambers, the left ventricle and the right ventricle. And these red lines stand for the blood, uh, blood vessels and the blue or black stand for the arteries. <laughs> <laughs> and right here in the heart. Excuse me, teacher. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Before you describe the details of the heart's anatomy, I have a simple question. Is there a connection between the mind and the heart? Because when we are anxious or fearful, our heart is beating faster. But when we are calm and relaxed, our heart beats normally. I always wanted to know why this case. There he goes again with his meditation question. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, don't laugh. That's actually a really good question. It's just I don't know the answer to that because I'm not an expert on that field. So we can take this conversation or outside of class or you can ask your fellow classmates. Teacher, the reason I ask this is because I attend a meditation class after school. When I meditate, my mind is peaceful. But when my mind is disturbed, my heart is heavy and beats faster than usual. Okay. That's also a really good point, but I can't answer that. I am no expert on this. So maybe to make you happy, we can do like a survey or a study on how the soul affects the heart and the body. Is that good? Yes, ma'am. Teacher, since we're talking about meditation, I also have a question. Okay, go ahead. This is going to turn into a meditation class anyway. <laughs> My parents practice mantra meditation and they've explained to me that the heart is safe for the spiritual soul in our body. All living entities have souls. And because of the soul, the heart pumps. At the time of death, the soul leaves the body and the heart also stops pumping. This kind of made sense to me. My question is, can we see the soul inside our heart? Wow, you kids have such deep questions. But like I said, two times over, I'm no expert on this field, I can't answer it. So, we can take this conversation outside of class, and right now we can focus on bio. So right here in the heart. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay guys, class is dismissed. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Some kids were a bit annoyed and perplexed by the devotee kid's question, so they decided to challenge her beliefs. Hey, what was that silly question about in class? So located in the heart, so leaving the body, entering the body, flying out of the body. What is this craziness? Where do you get such silly ideas? Hey, I don't think it's silly. You know nothing about the soul, that's why I think it's silly. I also heard something There's no such thing as a soul. You're just making these fancy things up so you can be religious and worship some god. The teacher's been too kind to you. If it were me, I would just shut you up. There's no soul, there's no god. This is the age of science and technology. How can you still believe in such silly things? The knowledge I'm sharing with you is timeless, valued at all times, no matter whatever else is going on in the world. Just like the fact about fruits, grains, and vegetables grow from the soil. A hundred years from now doesn't mean all the plants are going to fly out of the sky because of advancement. Similarly, the soul is not going to change. It's just that some people understand it and some don't. If you understand it, you'll see how your life changes in a good way. If you say so, can you prove the existence of the soul? Can you really show me where it is located, how it looks, and so on? Well, well, you cannot see the soul like you see a ball or a bat, because the soul is very subtle and can be only seen with very refined intelligence. Unless you have some spiritual knowledge, it's almost impossible to see the soul. Just like when you prepare well for the test, you foresee good grades. This seeing is not seeing with your eyes, but seeing with your mind and intelligence. Similarly, you cannot see the soul with your eyes, but see with your mind and intelligence. So you cannot say there is no soul just because you cannot see it. See, I was telling you there is a soul, but you didn't believe me. Gaiti is explaining it nicely. I am also understanding better. Yeah, I agree. Let's go back and apologize for rude behavior at the beginning and ask some more questions. Yeah. 
Hey, Gaia 3. Actually, we are sorry for our rude comments in the beginning. Actually, what you're saying is beginning to make sense. I have one more question. Can you please explain? Anytime. Although it may be difficult to see the soul, there must be a simple way. Everybody can tell about the soul's presence. How can I convince myself about the soul? Can you give me a simple example? Yes, just like in the morning when there's light, we say the sun is rising up, even though we may not actually see the sun. We conclude about the sun's presence by the light we see. Similarly, the consciousness in our body is like the light, and the sun is the soul. We say there's consciousness because of the soul. A dead body has no consciousness. By experiencing consciousness, we can tell that the soul is present. Wow, what a nice point. I'm going to go home and tell my parents about this today. Is there any book that describes this knowledge in detail? Yes, it's called Bhagavad Gita as it is. I learned about it in B Sunday school. It's look, Sunday school was conducted in Iskand of Silicon Valley. You should visit there next Sunday. You can also get a copy of Bhagavad Gita there. Yeah, sure. We'll come on Sunday. Thanks again. Students have gathered in the cafeteria and are talking about what they got for lunch. Hey, Gora, I got chicken for lunch. What did you get? I got omelet. What did you get, Mithai? I got lentil pancakes. Why do you always get this vegetarian <laughs> stuff? Meat and eggs are good for the body. You should really eat them. I don't like to kill to satisfy my needs. I find it wrong. You should actually try eating meat and animals. It's really good. You're missing out on a lot. Killing causes pain and suffering. I don't want to kill to enjoy a meal, man. I'm killing animals and you're killing plants. What's the big difference? Many fruits are picked from the tree, yet the tree still remains alive. Grains and vegetables have their own edible portions, the seeds or flowers, and they die of natural causes later on. So it's not necessary to kill them just to take some food. So, grains come from, grains come from plants that have died a natural death. And then, so with a vegetarian diet, there's much less cruelty considering the welfare of fruits and veggies. Actually, Nithai is right. I have heard many stories about the suffering cows undergo when they're taken to the slaughterhouse. They scream and cry in fear, and sometimes even fall down dead before they're killed. And also, I have heard many stories about uh, the veins on uh, dead pigs are so big that it almost looks like they exploded from their body. But eggs are okay, right? Eggs are unfertilized embryos. They neglect and torture chickens and stop their generation. So it is also cruel to eat eggs. Thanks, Natai. That was really helpful. Vegetarian, I'm listening. And vegetarianism, I'm listening. Sounds like you're a vegetarian too, Bora. Yes, I am. I do like all animals, whether it's a cat, dog, chicken, or cow. So a cat, uh, a cat, dog, chicken, or cow. But I also want to progress spiritually. Food becomes a method of progressing spiritually. The Vedic literature explains that we have to re-establish our lost relationship with God. Accepting prasadam is a way of doing that. Food must be cooked with love and respect, knowing that it will be offered to the Lord. Such, uh, such food gives us positive energy and helps us think and behave properly. Thanks, dude. That was helpful. How can I know more about this vegetarianism? I carry this book with me called The Higher Taste. Would you like a copy? It's free. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can introduce yourself. Just go introduce yourself and then we switch to presentation. Go introduce yourself. Um, Hare Krishna, my name is Arjun. Hare Krishna, my name is Balaram. Namaste, my name is Raghav. Hare Krishna, I'm Giri. Dai. Hare Krishna, I'm Nitai Goswami. Hare Krishna, I'm Dritti. Hare Krishna, I'm Anushri, and I played the skeptical atheist. <laughs> um, Hare Krishna, I'm Geetha Priya, and I played the teacher who didn't know anything. <laughs> Hare Krishna, I'm Ambrish, I played the meat eater. Hare Krishna, I'm Gorsundar, and I also played the meat eater. <laughs> Hare Krishna, my name is Guy Three. Hare Krishna, I, my name is Arushi, and I played the person who knew about the student who knew a lot about the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Hare 
Krishna. My name is Vedan. I was student one. Thank you. Thank you very much. So the Madan Mohan end of semester performance is structured into three parts. So what you saw was the three scene drama. Now we are going to have uh, four kids presenting four slides and what they have learned. Um, and you will see, I think it starts with Mukun, then it goes to Krishya and then Nehar um, uh, and Pooja and Keshav. Okay. So. Hare Krishna, my name is Mukund and now I'm going to be talking about how the Bhagavad Gita should be understood. Evam param para praptam emam rajasayo vidu sakale neha mahata yogo nashta parantapa. Let me tell you a quick st story. There's a man who works at the wet and his horse has a swollen throat. So the man beats the horse's neck and the horse, and the horse is healed. Then he thinks about starting a business about healing horses' necks. And he does. After a couple of days, he receives a call, and the person who made the call says his horse has something stuck in its throat. So the man beats the horse's neck, and the, but the horse dies. Then the person, when the person goes to the vet and asks why the horse dies, then the vet worker replied, the horse had some infection in its throat, and when he beat its neck, the infection spread, so the horse died. As you heard, the non-educated person thought the problem was the same, so he beat the horse's neck. But the problem wasn't, so the horse died. In the same way, you should understand the Bhagavad Gita in a trusted and authorized source. Hare Krishna. Next, Krishna is going to be talking about whatever Krishna does is for good. Hello, my name is Krishay. Hello, my name is Krishay, and I will be talking on the plan of God is always perfect. Karmani eva adhikaraste. Keep it close. Karmani eva adhikaraste. Ma phale shukadachana. Ma karma phale he turbuya. Ma te sangusta karmani. The translation to this is. You have the right to perform your prescribed duty but are not entitled to the fruits of actions. Never consider yourself the cause of the result of your activities and never be attached to not doing your duty. Let me tell you a Gopal Bhan story. One day, there was this king named Krishna Chandra. He, he had a very favorite minister named Gopal Bhan who was very witty. One day, they went hunting in the forest. Gopal Bhan and the king were both hunting for wild animals when due to some injury, the king's pinky finger was cut off. And then Gopal Bhan said to the king that whatever Krishna does is done for good. The king became very enraged at this. So when they went back to the kingdom, he locked Gopal Bhan in the prison. The Gopal Bhan still said, the plan of God is always perfect. So the next day, Krishna Chandra goes hunting in the forest once again. This time, he gets captured by a tribal chief and is going to be used for a sacrifice before their deity. But then the tribal chief notices that the king's little finger is cut and therefore he is, he is unfit for the sacrifice and cannot be used for the sacrifice. Then the king immediately heads back to the palace and releases Gopal Bhan from the prison, telling him, Gopal Bhan, what you said is right. What you said is right. Whatever Krishna does is done for good. And Gopal Bhan re repeats the phrase once again, the plan of God is always perfect. And then, but the king says, there's still one flaw. You got locked in this prison and, and it's very bad in here. What did you get out of it? He said, my lord, imagine if I was there hunting with you. They would have took me and used me for the sacrifice instead of you because I, I have no bodily imperfections. The moral of the story is, whatever Krishna does is, go, is done for good and the plan of God is always perfect. Next, Keshav will be speaking. <laughs> oh. 
Hare Krishna, my name is Keshav and I'm going to be talking about an action judged by its fruits. Shreyan swa dharma vigo naha para dharma swa anushtatat swa dharma nidanam shreyaha para dharma baya vahaha. It is far better to do one's duties even though faultily than than doing another's duties perfectly. Destruction while doing one's duties is better than doing another's duties, for to follow another's path is dangerous. Let me tell you a short story. There was once a man with a long beard. One day an ant was climbing on his beard. So, um, so he went to the road to take it off, but he didn't want to hurt the poor ant. So then he went to the ant hill to put it there. Instead, all the ants started climbing on his beard. He was in great pain and decided to put his entire beard on fire. As a result, all the ants died as well as his face was burnt. So in the end, he ended up doing more violence than he would have done. Thank you, Hare Krishna. The next person will be, next, Nihar will be talking about the soul. I'll be talking about how the soul is eternal. The soul is eternal, but her body is not. So here are two shlokas which are related to the soul. Na jayate mriyate vakadachin nayam bhutva bhavita vanabhuya ajo nitya sasvato yam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharide For the soul, there is neither birth nor death at any time. He does, he has not come into being, doesn't does not come into being, and will not come into being. He is unborn, eternal, ever existing, and primeval. He is not slain when the body is slain. Dehi no sminita dehe kaumaram yovanam jara tata dehantara praptir diras tatra namoyeti. As the embodied soul continuously passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at the time of death. Here is an example of the soul with the tenant on his apartment. When a tenant's contract is over, he leaves his apartment and moves to another apartment. Similarly, the soul passes from one body to another. Even when the tenant is still in the, con uh, tenant is still in the apartment, the apartment may go through rotting woods and renovations. Similarly, when the soul is inside the body, the body might age. Also, when the apartment is too unsafe to live, the tenant has to leave. The soul also has to leave her body when it's dead. Next, Puja will be presenting. Hi Krishna, my name is Pooja and I will be talking about philanthropy or spirituality. Arjuna said, Guru Nahatvahi Mahanapavan Shreya Bhaktam Vakshim Apihaloki Hatvartha Kamam Stukaran Ihaiva Punchiya Bhagan Radhira Pratikdan. Translation Arjuna said, It would be better to live in this world by begging than to live at the cost of great souls who are my teachers. Even though desiring, even the desiring world gain, their superiors. If they are killed, everything they enjoy will be tainted with blood. Krishna said to Arjuna, "Shreya Swadharma Vikuna Paradharma Tvanishtita Swadharma Nidhanam Shreya Paradharma Payavaha." Arjuna was thinking philanthropically. How can I kill my relatives? They are my teachers and elders. I don't know which one is better, to conquer the Kauravas or be conquered by them. In comparison, in comparison, philanthropic work is like blowing on a boil. 
If someone is suffering from a boil, and if someone blows cool air on your boil, then you will feel very good and very grateful. The knowledge of Bhagavad Gita is like cutting the boil. The patient might feel pain and the patient might feel hatred for the doctor, but actually the one who's cutting the boil is actually is actually solving the problem to its roots. The patient will be permanently cured by this permanently cured by this treatment. People of this world are in general not very intelligent. When we say feeding a hungry man, when we say feeding a hungry man is good, but giving him spiritual knowledge is even better, still people think the opposite. This is like saying blowing on the boil is better than cutting the boil. Nonetheless, a king is a king whether recognized or unrecognized. Hare Krishna. Now we will have the third and the last part of the Madan Mohan um, uh, end of semester performance, which is going to be the, the bhajan that is taught by Anand Radhika Mataji. And so kids take the position. Yes. 
for the Madan Mohan group. Now we'll conclude with our last presentation with a bhajan by the Kaishura and the Youth Club. Thank you so much. We are over time by about 10 minutes or so five more minutes and we will conclude. We apologize for the delay. Can you please move, move, move?
Thank you to the Kaishora and Youth Club children. We're very, very fortunate to have the whole generation grow up to this age and to see you grow ready to take the world. It's a great honor for all of us. Thank you so much. And now we'd like to just conclude today's performance, taking the blessings of Srila Prabhupada and Shri Radha Madan Mohan, Mahaprabhu and Lakshmi Narsimhadev. Please let them accept our minute efforts in pleasing the Lord and serving the devotees. So, um, and also want to really thank you, uh, His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu, for taking your valuable time out and, you know, sitting through all the presentations and encouraging every one of us. It means a whole lot to all of us, to the parents, to the children. We're very, very grateful and um, thank you for everything that you do for us. Starting from the youngest kids who were playing those rattles, it was really touching, actually. I, because I was just watching how, at each generation, the consciousness is manifesting at a certain level. And as the kids get older, then you can see there's more nuance and intelligence and everything like that, but the bhakti is still the same. And it's coming out even with the rattles. And then with this sublime ending with the sublime bhajan, such a nice beat and tune and everything like that. It's very moving. But the overall effect is obvious. It's, it's that uh, through staying close to Krishna, through the whole growing process, educational process, socializing process, that one actually starts to naturally develop love for him and for his devotees. So watching throughout today was, was riveting and also uh, very hopeful for the world. I thank all of you for all the hard work you put in, both the teachers and the students, to put this beautiful presentation together. It's, it's not an easy task. I know you put hours and hours and hours of work into it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully those cupcakes are indestructible. Uh, but I thank you very, very much. Uh, all of you who presented and those uh, who helped put on it was, it was a really beautiful presentation. And thank you very much, Rishesh Freelila, and all the teachers uh, who helped put this together. Gorpremanande Haribo. Haribo.